So here's a fiber got thing right and one of my podcast guests told me Gaurav Tanaja he's a he's a vlogger mm-hmm. and he told me and I asked my nutritionist as well and asked my general physician as well and they all said yes but because you're a research and uh, you're somebody who are much senior and who specializes in this mm-hmm. sort of thing that's why I want to ask you is it is it good or bad does it help or no right mm-hmm. I'm asking you I'm going to ask you So what he suggested that let's say if you want to have an ice cream. Mm. So during the day at 2 p.m. when you're insulin or dancing, let's mm. just say that time. <laughs> okay. So 2 p.m. when you're having an ice cream, if you have ice cream, your sugar level is going to spike up mm. all of a sudden. Mm. Right. But if you take ice cream and before ice cream, you eat one big bowl of salad and then you eat ice cream, your sugar level is not going to spike as much. So every time you're about to eat like a sweet or a junk food, eat like a bowl of salad, which will a reduce your appetite for the junk, and b it won't be as harmful as it was without fibers. Is that true? Um, see, the number one is absolutely true. So that is true for any restaurant that I go. I go, <laughs> I ask for salad first, and people will be like, "There's no salad." I say, "You make one. <laughs> <laughs> you make one." <laughs> So because I uh, rich in fiber so it will keep you full the satiety level kicks in so that gives you advantage of tasting all the dishes without being feeling guilty mm. okay so that no matter what you cannot eat that much number first point is absolutely true the second point of blunting the glucose response is very debatable uh um, there is one school of thought that yes blunting the school glucose response is good because you know you insulin doesn't have to work that much um but the other school of thought is this insulin the glucose spikes might not matter that much the matter is how much amount of glucose spikes that is happening throughout the day correct so let's say you eat salad and urine ice cream and let's say you keep eating that <laughs> again and again uh, again and again and that the repeated spikes uh, is is a bigger problem it's a huge problem so this concept of normalizing eating junk food you can eat salad before or after should not be the approach in my opinion do they have a point yes they do have some approach to it but for a public health education i don't think this is the way to go okay let make both the scenarios worse let's say in a case i have to eat an ice cream mm. or junk food mm. i need it i'm craving do i just have it or do i eat yeah. a salad Of course. What's you, better? Of course you eat a salad and then you eat ice okay. cream. Yeah. But we should not make it a more norm. Norm. Correct. It's like a it's like slightly one step towards a better health, but it's not really good that you make it a practice. Ha. Huh. Mm-hmm. Got it. Correct. Thank you so much for watching this clip till the end. For more such amazing insightful clips, please subscribe to our channel.